Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, so in this video, I am going to talk about the next content. So first of all, I will just give you a brief of what is a resource. Okay. And uh, what are the different types of resources, uh, types of resources in the sense like when you create a resource, you have to choose a service. Okay. So what services, different types of services are there and uh, which one to choose uh, and how they will be charged and how what are the prerequisites to create a resource and there is something called a single service uh, resource and multi-service resource so i will be talking about all of them and uh, i will also show you uh, practically how you can create this resource okay so firstly talking about what is a resource and uh, what are the prerequisites also i will be talking about so basically when you are trying to access any of the service or you wanted to uh, you know utilize any of the capabilities you need to create a resource which will provide you a key and endpoint this will be used for authentication right so you need to authenticate with your uh, azure ai service correct so that authentication can be done uh, through using your keys and the endpoints and that for in order to get them we create a resource that uh, utilizes right that utilizes a proper uh, service right so based on what your requirement is you have to choose the right service okay so now let's go to uh, how to create a uh, resource i will show you okay so you if you go to portal.azure.com okay here you can see how you can actually create a resource i will show you right from scratch so here you can see the uh, there is an option called create a resource correct so if you click over here it will take you to the page where you have to provide what resource you want to create okay so before i do this step of practical i wanted to show you uh, a list of resources list of services that we have actually so this is the list okay you can check from here okay based on what all the capabilities that we have so let's say for image recognition right so we have custom vision service we have document intelligence service we have face service we have language service speech translator vision so these are the different types of services that we have based on what your requirement is you have to choose your service wisely so that is first thing so let's say you wanted to work on a use case uh where you want to identify the people's face okay you wanted to identify people face so you will definitely choose face service okay so that is a first thing and also um so let's say you wanted to identify the speaker that is there okay so you wanted to do the speaker recognition so for that purpose you will use the speech so if you are using two different use cases two different projects where you want to identify person separately and you wanted to identify the speaker separately then you can go for two different uh, resources you can create two different resources one with face service and other with the speech service but in a case where you wanted to create only one project which has both which should have both the capabilities then in that case there is an option called multi service account okay multi service uh, uh, sorry multi service resource we can create actually so for that purpose what how we can actually do that how we can actually create is something that i'm going to show you so one thing you have to be clear about is if you were use cases dealing with only one service, you can go for single service. Uh, one second, let me get the terminology clear. You can go for single service account. Yeah, you can go for single service account. Let's say if you wanted to include more than one uh, service into a same use case, then you can go for multi-service account. Okay, so these are the two things that I wanted to give you clarity on. And apart from that, uh, charging right so uh, if you are using a single service account then based on what you use it will be charged accordingly if you are using multi-service account the combine the combination of both the services will be charged together in the same account so that's how it will be charged and coming back how to create a resource is something that i wanted to show so let's say the first uh 
case where you wanted to create a custom vision okay so that means customize images uh, customize image recognition for your business so in that case what you will do you will just take only the custom vision right so let's go ahead and go for custom vision service as soon as you click on it so there will be a lot of custom visions you may see okay but you have to go for the one that's from microsoft okay so once after you go inside it will be uh, you can create the resource right you can select uh, the subscription resource group pricing and everything and you can create it i'll show for one of that how to how you can actually create okay so you can create the resource that is one way and i will show you how you can actually create a multi service account okay so this is it, this is quite simple right like you based on what uh, resource you wanted what service you want to use you will create but let's say if you wanted to create a multi service account so in that case you have to go for azure ai service and inside this you can see here this is the one okay azure ai services and you can also see this is azure ai services is there but this is for open ai okay this symbol is for open ai the one that we want is this one okay if you see here it will be provided in documentation also i think mm. but yes this is the one we should go with just scroll and create azure ai services so if you see here get access to vision language search and speech azure ai services with a single api key correct yeah exactly this is also one more thing that i wanted to tell you um if you wanted to uh, if you go for as i said you that the resource will provide you the api key and the endpoint url so if you are going for a single service so for face only one single api key and the endpoint will be provided um but for multi service account if you are going so then in that case all the services that you are utilizing will be coming together under single api key and the endpoint so that only using that single a endpoint and the api key you can access all the different services you don't have to create a new service for accessing a different service okay clear now let's going to this uh, i will show you how you can actually create this so now you can just click on free trial and then you should have a resource group already i have it so otherwise you can just give some name like demo resource group like that you can just create one resource group okay and then the region so basically the region would be something um uh, based on the service also it matters some of the services uh, uh there is a documentation actually um service based I had bookmarked it. Um, I will check and put it in the description box if I find it. But it is definitely there in the documentation. Mm. Yes. So if you see here, uh, there are different types of, this is for open AI actually. So if you're using open AI, you have to make sure and which region you choose based on the model that you choose, right? So mostly I would say um, you can choose either UK, South or North Europe uh, because when I worked choosing those locations, I didn't, I didn't actually face any issue. East US also it works sometimes. So depends on uh, what service you are using, okay? So I will find the documentation. I'll put it in the description. So so yeah, I can just take UK South and then the name of the service. So let's say demo Azure AI service or a resource. And then the pricing tire will be standard as zero. And then checking this review and create. It will take some time for deployment. So once after it is deployed, 
So just click on create and it will start the deployment. Okay. So once after it gets deployed, I will show you what all the things that you need to know after creating a resource. So you can see cognitive services all in one. That means it's a multi-service account, right? So fine. So here we can see this is a multi-service account. And uh, let me show you here right so once after you create the resource what you can do is and one more best practice that i would suggest is once after you create the resource if you are not using the resource please de delete the resource please clean the resources okay so because uh, it it is it is uh, not charged for creating a resource i mean you should have a subscription oh, sorry i actually forgot to tell one of the prerequisite of it so you it like if you have to create a resource right there should be a subscription you can see here there's a symbol this is subscription you should have a subscription on your account before you create a resource that is very mandatory that means if you uh if you don't have an uh, account or uh, you know uh, subscription already what you can do you can create a subscription for one month you will get a free trial and maybe later on if you want you can keep it uh, and you have to pay for it otherwise you can just drop it okay so this is the subscription that you need to have in order to create a resource so that's the prerequisite which i forgot to tell you earlier yes going back um where is my resource So these are all the resources that I have. Um, okay, let me take one resource, okay? So if you see here, this is my resource, right? So once after you create your resource, you can see something like this. And if you go here in the... Mm -mm. There should be something for keys let me yes here you can see there is something called as keys okay inside set um, not this uh, this is managing keys but apart from that okay fine so you can see here there is something called as url so this is the endpoint url but actually i don't want it this is a search service so that's why you are getting it differently let me show you the one that you can see let's take this yes here you can see something called as resource management correct so here you can see there is a, a keys and endpoint this is the one that i was actually looking for uh, that's a different service i'll talk about it in later uh, but here you can see there is something called as keys and the endpoint so this key and the endpoint you will utilize in order to access the um uh, studio right in in when you're trying to access the capabilities from studio it will ask you to link it with a resource so you should have a resource available already only then you can uh, utilize the capabilities from studio so this uh, creation of resources is very much important so that's why i've taken longer time to elaborate because the basics are really really important so i hope this is useful to all of you and i think i have covered everything right so i told you how to create a resource what is a resource what are the different types of services we have what is a single service account what is a multi-service account and how the pricing will be what are the prerequisites and then how you can create the resource and what all the endpoints and the keys that will where it will be generated and how it will be utilized um and in the next video i will be showing you taking to the studio how you utilize the capabilities okay i'll talk every i'll talk in detail about each and every service that we have and how you use those capabilities okay thank you so much and i will see you in the next video till that time if you like the video please do consider subscribing bye